Hi, I'm Rod York. I own Rycor. We make the Scorpion. And these are a few tips to help uh, get started. Number one, template material. HDPE is the material I recommend. It stands for high definition, high density polyethylene. Uh, you can buy it in four bag sheets for about 200 and something dollars. You can get six templates cut out with it. And this way the templates are made your way. I recommend you buy about eight or 10 templates for the eight or 10 sinks that you sell. And if the lady wants a different sink, then tell her no problem. You can cut one out yourself, but it takes about $200, $250, charge her for the template, and you have one in your stock. Uh, for cutting out a sink, like I said, the HTPE, I make a two or four frame separate to fit all my templates. And when I put them together with the clamps, I just sandwich them together and hold them down tight. The secret to cutting out a machine is feel. Let the diamond do the work. The bottom of the diamond is what does the cutting, not the side. You should be able to move this machine around the template with one hand. If you're having to force it, then you're going too aggressive on the hand wheel. One fourth, one half, one third of a turn, each revolution should suffice. Uh, the other secret of the machine is do not stop. As you're going around the template, give the hand turn a half a turn and let it, let it stay. Work your way around nice and slow, and do not stop. If you stop, it drills a little hole and makes it rough the next time around. Uh, another secret to drill is a bit of setting the, uh, cutting the sink out is use a, uh, a solid surface on the bottom to cut out, to stop blowouts if you're only cutting out sinks. If you're using it to polish, you have to use the two before. Never, ever, ever clamp to the frame. Only clamp to the two befores. To eliminate another another way of eliminating blowout is to use uh, an acrylic penetrator. Where you're going to cut the sink that stops a lot of the blowout. That's pretty much it. The number one rule, like I said, let the diamond do the work. Don't get in a hurry. And the most important, play with it. It's like anything else. You have to play with it to know what you're doing. Once the more and more you do, the better and faster you'll be at it. First 2210 is going to take you 15, 20 minutes. Should be only at high speed. That's the only time you use high speed is for this cutting wheel right here. Everything else is going to be low speed, especially drilling and profiling. So good luck with the machine. Thank you. They're going to help.